Yeah, good morning. So God woke me up and gave me um, a lot of things to share. But before I do, I'm going to pray. So Heavenly Father, we repent of our sins. God, I pray that as your word goes forward, Father God, that it will fall on fertile ground. That your people will take your warnings and take what you say into consideration, Father God, and repent and confess that Jesus is Lord and renounce everything that subjects itself to you and your kingdom, Father God, everything that takes us out of your presence, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I wrote a lot of it down. So at first the Lord was talking to me about how I saw I saw a lot of people moving from one state to another, kind of like evacuation sort of deal. He said there would be a change in their way of life. People should not hold on to material possessions because a lot of material possessions will be lost or damaged and things like that. The value of a dollar will no longer be of value. Many jewelry stores will go down due to forgery. So it's like they're going to be saying that this jury is real, but it's really not real. It's going to be fake. God is exposing the unlikely, those that are not really like him, that are saying they're like him. God is exposing the modern-day Pharisees. You know, Pharisees were the teachers of the law, teachers of God's word, but they didn't believe that Jesus was Lord. They actually was the one that got him crucified. So about the Pharisees, it was like, he was like, those who act like they walk with God, but they don't. He's going to begin to expose them by their fruits. I saw a lot of pharmacies running out of medicine, and they was giving the patients wrong medicine. They wasn't telling people that this wasn't their medicine. But that's going to backfire because people are going to get sick. People are going to die because they're going to have the wrong medicine. People will begin to lie, and it will be profound. Lying will be easy to a lot of people. It's like they'll lie on the stand, they'll lie on TV, they'll lie on people, and it won't be hard, and they won't care that they're lying. I see crosses being burned like in the days of slavery. Well, not slavery, but segregation. Um, God says that racism is a sickness planted by Satan, and we need to pick a side. Either we're going to live for Satan or we're going to live for Jesus. The Lord said that there will be many that will fall to death due to being ill. So God wants us to care more about him than we care about people, or you'll be depressed or devastated when people begin to die being ill and it'll cause you to not want to walk in your calling because you'll be mad at God. Amen. So the Lord showed me red water. It was full of babies. Like they weren't moving. They weren't crying. It was just water full of babies, red water. He says he shall give the interpretation to those who have ears to hear. God is mandating new beginnings. God is raising up new believers. God is moving those out of the way who won't do things his way. So leaders of the church that won't do things God's way, he's going to move them out of the way and raise up people who they may see as insignificant, says the spirit of the living God. The Lord also said that he's about to force money to begin to be given to the poor. God is about to give away houses to those who he sees fit to live in them. I see rich people who don't truly belong amongst the rich. like They don't fit in because they're chosen by God. So it's going to be rich people chosen by God amongst rich people that was given their stuff by Satan. So they won't understand how this person got that by just being obedient, by just living righteous, because they weren't able to live like that and get things from Satan, says the Lord our God in Christ Jesus. So God is taking back contracts that Satan has given out, and, and he's going to give many of those contracts to his people, to his chosen, to his elect, those who will obey, those who will spread righteous things instead of promoting the agenda of God Satan. said that these things have already been done in the spirit. God is raising up the anointed to be seen. They will travel the world as the days of the book of Acts, proclaiming the gospel, and they will be seemingly untouchable. It will seem like they can't be touched, but you know, everyone goes through things. Everyone goes through civil, uh, spiritual warfare, but it's going to seem like they're untouchable, and this will make people of the world, even people of the church who are not living right, they'll be upset with God about these people. Why did you gift them with this? Why did you do this? And why did you do that? And God says, because they obeyed me in Jesus' name. Many of those whose bed is already chosen won't be able to be reached. So let those who have the ears hear, says the Lord. God is showing me like new food, like there'll be new food. God says there will be found upon you new cures to things they once said was incurable. God says they just didn't want to cure you, but my people have been down long enough. I hear the Lord saying new remedies from him. Demons won't fret. They won't be afraid. They will always show you that they are around. Be mindful of who you trust. Open up the Bible. The answers are there, says the living God. February will bring a lot of emotional issues, says the Lord. But my people, I am with you, says the Lord our God in Christ Jesus. Harsh decisions are upon you, but you must choose me, says the Lord. Let me decide, says the Lord. 
Many stones will wipe out. Many celebrities mandated cancel, says the Lord. God is going to begin to destroy territories of Satan. And before your eyes, we will see them fall, says the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord says our loyalty must deepen concerning Jesus. And that's it. God says that we have to we have to be more loyal to Jesus Christ. We have to stand on the teachings so that we can truly follow Jesus because people who really, really follow Jesus will be persecuted even by those who say that they follow Jesus. Hallelujah. So wickedness does not care to be found. Once demon once hidden demons, this is how he said it, once hidden demons will now be found, shown for all to see. They will no longer fear to be found, for their time has almost arrived. So they're there are many characteristics of unclean spirits. Many of them are obvious, but many of them are not obvious. So you'll be able to know certain characteristics of a demon, but not all of them are obvious. So God had me to write some down. So the people that are really, really trying to get closer to Christ, you know, you will begin to recognize unclean spirits around you, especially if you make the pledge to Jesus to just fully surrender and come out of religion come out of conforming come out of playing like you worship god and really getting in a sense of worship if there are unclean spirits around you in your church or amongst people that you know they will begin to manifest says the spirit of the living god so you will recognize an unclean spirit by its fruit and here are some of the fruits of unclean spirits lying anger blasphemy they'll be arrogant tyrant prideful self-absorbed wanting to be praised evil wicked slanderous vicious conniving, argumentative, wanting power, wanting to be worshipped, lustful, full of greed, full of arrogance, demanding attention, and the like. They do not possess the fruit of the Spirit. Let those who have an ear hear. Go back and get into the presence of God and seek the Lord while he may be found and let God continue to reveal what he has to say.